Hello everyone, today Pullover Adventures visits the Marion County Poor Farm. It was first known as the Marion County Poor Asylum, and the name was later changed to the Marion County Poor Farm. This was one of many farms which were common in the United States in the 19th and early 20th centuries. Sometimes the farms could even be part of the same economic complex as a prison farm and other penal or charitable public institutions. Residing on 160 acres of farmland located 7 miles southwest of Marion, Kansas, construction on the building began around 1888 and historical records indicate the doors of the three-story native limestone structure opened in 1890. The farm was operated at county expense and built as a place of shelter and comfort for the poor and disabled. The superintendent's quarters were on the first floor and a total of 12 resident bedrooms were located on the second floor. Women lived in individual bedrooms and the men lived in larger rooms referred to as dormitories. Poor farms traditionally produce at least some of the produce, grain, and other livestock they consumed. Residents were expected to provide labor to the extent that their health would allow, both in the fields, in providing housekeeping, and care for other residents. By 1901, the farm was paying an average of $200 per year to the county treasury after expenses. This equates to roughly $6,159 in 2020. Most often, rules were strict and accommodations minimal. The farms declined in use after the Social Security Act took effect in 1935, with most disappearing completely by about 1950. What is that? Godfrey? Godfrey. Like Gilbert Godfrey? That one's 1857. Very interesting, there's no dates. Yeah, I know that one, 1853.
gosh, they kind of go across all uh, 